statement, really. We've been here before. We were here 17 years ago. And if there's one lesson that came from those events is that violence begets violence. And it was acts like this that led us to the catastrophic war in Iraq that cost, well, estimates between half a million and a million lives. And it is so easily, so easily to happen as a result of a foreign policy of aggressive imperialism that the US now has resorted to yet again under Donald Trump. And it's not good enough for the UK government just to appeal for a de-escalation. What we expect the UK government to do is to come out in total and outright condemnation of this act of violence. What we need to do now is ensure that we hold our own government to account. Because it won't be just the Middle East that will be set alight if there's further actions by Trump and the US. It will be the globe itself. And we'll all be at risk yet again. That's why we need the UK government now to make it absolutely clear to Trump that we condemn this action. That there will be no use of either British soil or British establishment or any British personnel involved in any act of aggression or war in the Middle East ever again. We will not tolerate us being dragged yet again into this type of aggressive military action which puts us all at risk. But yeah, exactly as Lindsay has said, and let me just say this, I want to thank Stop the War for what they do and what they've done over the years in terms of mobilizing people against aggressive acts and against the wars that have been sought to be perpetrated by the US but also with the connivance and support of the UK. And the Stop the War have come under critical attack by elements in the mainstream media just because they've stood up for peace over those years. So I congratulate Stop the War and thank them for what they've done heroically over the years. And let's make it absolutely clear. We totally condemn this act. That we will do all that we can. Yes, as Lindsay has said, Johnson may have a majority in Parliament. But we'll do all that we can. Both, yes, in Parliament as Labour opposition, but also on the streets in demonstrations and actions that we will need to take to ensure that we demonstrate that we are totally opposed to this act of aggression, this escalation towards war, towards this act that will set the Middle East and the globe alight yet again. And yes, it will be on the streets. It will be in demonstrations. It will be pressurising MPs and this government to actually recognise the risk that they're putting to the globe itself. And we 